So I, I was uh, seeing some Christians who were becoming worried and frantic about the culture around them. I've, I've heard a lot of apocalyptic uh, talk about, uh, well, everything's falling apart, and the church is in trouble, and all of that kind of language. So the, the collapse of the Bible Belt is bad for America in some ways, but it's, it's really good news for the advance of the gospel. Jesus didn't give us the gospel to get America in line with the church. Jesus gave us the gospel to get the church out of step with America. Uh, that means reclaiming Christianity in all of its strangeness of bloody crosses and virgin births and empty tombs. That's what really changes minds and hearts. Sometimes people assume that engaging the culture is what people who have cultural platforms do. Uh, people who are talking heads on TV or people who write books or, or those sorts of things. Every Christian is engaging the culture all the time. You're having to decide how do I deal with that uh, drug addicted neighbor of mine or how do I respond on social media uh, to people who are saying things that, that make me angry. That's the calling that Jesus has given to us to remain true to convictions, not to negotiate that away, but to be on mission with kindness and with gentleness, but with the gospel in view. Whether you're you know, talking on television or whether you're talking with your, your neighbor in a coffee shop, the end goal is not to win an argument. The end goal is reconciliation, to see people reconciled to God and reconciled to one another. And that, that takes a, a constant reminding of ourselves of what our mission is.